Science Beetle. Welcome back students. What I wanted to do for this lesson is kind of go over a little bit about reading an MSDS label. MSDS labels provide us with a lot of information about the safety uh, that you should know about prior to using any chemicals in the lab. Uh, right here on the side, what I provided for you is going to be a, an example of an MSDS label. Uh, but before we go there, I want to make sure that I explain what MSDS is. Okay? MSDS essentially is the acronym that's used to describe several things. So let's just do this. MSDS. M stands for Material Safety. For S, D is data, and then the S here is going to be the sheet. And so this MSDS, or the Material Safety Data Sheet, essentially provides you with a, a very comprehensive list of uh, things that you should know about in terms of the safety. It has very many sections. For example, section one is going to be providing you with information about the product. And there's a total of roughly 16 sections on this MSDS, uh, MSDS sheet, or the Material Safety Data Sheet, that you should be aware of. Very things uh, are very common in the sheet. It's very detailed, provides you a lot of the hazards, the ident identification, uh, there are any uh, firefighting measures, as well as any first aid measures that you should take into account, as well as any physical and chemical properties, uh, with also uh, providing information on how to store, how to handle, how to transport, any exposure controls you should be familiar with. But it's very extensive, and so I really urge you to look at the MSDS sheets that are provided in the classroom, in the chem chemistry classroom, prior to doing any uh, experiments in the lab so that you know exactly how to handle those chemicals. The other thing is that there is also a shorthand of how we can get this MSDS. And so what we have usually is we call it the MSDS uh, label. And so the acronym here is the MSDS label. And this here is the actual MSDS label. So it's a, an extremely uh, small shorthand that we use so that we can actually get a very quick glimpse as to what some of the hazards are going to be. And so when we look at the MSDS label, we've got four parts. The first part here is what we call the blue part, okay? And the blue part essentially deals with any health hazards, okay? The red part, which has been labeled here flammability, the red part really deals with any fire hazards. The yellow part uh, all deals with uh, reactivity, as you see here. And the white part deals with any special hazards that you should be aware of. Okay. We are going to break up this uh, lesson into several parts. The first part that I want to kind of deal with right now is to just give you a very general overview about what the MSDS label is and how to read it. Okay. So when you look at the label, uh, there's four numbers that can go into each of the boxes that are here. Anything from a, a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, or a zero. And so the scale here, four, is usually going to be the, the, the most severe. This is the highest rating. And it is also the most severe. And so the, when I say most severe, what I'm really talking about here is the most severe hazard for that particular color. So whether it deals with a health hazard or a flammable fire hazard, a reactivity hazard, or a special hazard, either with respect to it either being a corrosive uh, agent, an oxidizer, acid, alkali, or something that you should not mix with water, or, or whether it's re radioactive. Okay? The lowest rating that you can get is going to be a zero. And so there is also a three, a two, and a one, uh, but a zero here is going to be something that uh, this is going to be the lowest rating that you can get. It typically means that a, a rating of zero is going to be I wouldn't say safest because any chem chemical in the lab is always so, so assumed to be dangerous, uh, but it's going to have the lowest hazard associated with it. Okay. Now there are also some other designations of three, the two, and one, but keep in mind that as you move up the scale here from zero, the hazard severity increases. Okay. So that's just a general overview of what you should be familiar with. And so uh, to give you some very specific ratings here, uh, a three is going to be a serious hazard. Okay, and this is directly off of the MSDS sheet. A two is going to be a moderate hazard. A one is going to be a slight hazard. Okay, and you should be able to, uh, to essentially look at these hazards and identify what they are. 
And so for right now, that's all I really want to share with you in terms of how to read a, a MSDS label. And so in the next lesson, I'm going to give you some examples that we can actually use and practice what these things are going to be. Okay, so we'll talk to you soon. And uh, keep in mind, this is the first of two uh, lessons. The second lesson will cover the, the actual practice. And subscribe us, and we'll see you next time.